I'm doing pretty well. It's, it's a pretty chilly morning, but you know, I'm faring pretty well out here. And yes, there is an assistant coach that has Oregon State ties, Stacy Kleinsman, who develops a lot of the guards for Gonzaga, started her career coaching in the collegiate level at Oregon State just 10 seasons ago. She had just gotten out of the WNBA and decided to hang up the sneakers and she wanted to get into coaching. Well, what she stumbled upon was a director of basketball operations position here with the Beavers. I think it'll always kind of be that, oh, that's, it's fun to, uh, to always go back to your first job, um, but uh, nothing compares to where I am now. And now she's enjoying her time here at GU. You know, her first season here with the Zags was in 2014-2015. The Zags had a great season. They made it to the NCAA tournament in the second round. Well, who did they face? Oregon State with a chance to go to the Sweet 16. It just seems like everything comes full circle, you know, so I, I get my first job here and then our first NCAA tournament bid as a coaching staff at Gonzaga. We're back at Oregon State again, so uh, it just seems like everything is coming full circle and um, and it was a kind of a neat experience to come back and 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 also it was kind of neat to, get, to beat them to go to the Sweet 16 that first year too. Oddly enough for Kleinsman, it's just going to be the exact same thing. They're going to go for a chance for the Sweet 16 in the same place where she started her career. Well, that 2014-2015 season was also the first time head coach Lisa Fortier was coaching for the Zags. She called the win against Oregon State in that tournament a very big win for the program just moving forward. They, Oregon State was a three seed in that one. And this is what Fortier had to say particularly about that win. You know, I, I think it was a big game for us to just to know that, give a little bit of confidence to a staff and to the next generation of Zags that, um, you know, this is what Gonzaga is, not so-and-so or such-and-such person. And so that, that's, I think, what we took out of it the most is that we are, we are a nationally relevant team and um, we still are, and we're going to continue to be um, going you know, down the line. If they want to repeat that success, they're going to have to stop Oregon State's guard, Destiny Slocum. She was recruited by Gonzaga, actually, and now she plays for the Beavers, an all-Pac-12 selection for first-team honors. She's just really good. She knows how to pass the ball, create for her teammates, and she's really the engine that helps Oregon State go. She's a, a great player who you go back and forth. Does she want to pass first? Does she want to score first? Does she want to pass first? Does she want to score first? Do I take away her shot? Do I take away her pass? Um, and I really don't know which she's better at. Um, so we're, I think that the overall theme on her is containment and active pressure you know, will be helpful and I think critical to kind of slow her down as best we can. I think the tough part for the Zags today, too, is that they're going to be playing inside Gill Coliseum, so it's basically a home game for Oregon State. There was a lot of orange in those stands day before yesterday for the first round of the NCAA tournament. I expect the same today, Brittany and Jen. Well, Karthik, it looks pretty quiet there this morning, though. I imagine you expect it to fill up <laughs> by later today when the game starts at 6. Yeah. We still we got we got some hours till game time, so it's going to be rocking here soon, I bet. Well, we thank you for getting up early yeah. with us this morning. That's for sure. We'll talk to no you again problem. next hour.